Okay, who's ready for some science? <laughs> Me too. Okay, I am Dr. Leonard Hofstetter. I am here with my friends, Dr. Cooper and real life astronaut, Howard Wallowitz. And we are going to show you girls how cool a job in science can be. How cool, you ask? Well, how about negative 273 degrees? Because that's the temperature at which entropy reaches its minimum value. <laughs> Did I just learn something new and have fun doing it? What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so now let's bring out theoretical physicist, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> Hello, female children. <laughs> Allow me to inspire you with a story about a great female scientist. Polish born, French educated, Madame Curie co-discoverer of radioactivity. She was a hero of science. Until her hair fell out, her vomit and stool became filled with blood, and she was poisoned to death by her own discovery. With a little hard work, I see no reason why that can't happen to any of you. Are we done? Can we go? The thing to remember is, you can go to outer space, too. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I went to this very school. Those desks you're sitting in? I was once super glued to one of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you go to the moon? No, but I did go to the International Space Station. Did you fly the rocket? No, but I was in the rocket. I didn't actually. So you just flew around? It's kind of like my uncle. He's a flight attendant. No, I'm an American hero. Your uncle brings people nuts. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Boy, we are learning a lot here. Uh, thank you, astronaut Howard. Um, I am what's called an experimental physicist, which is super fun because I get to test theories and work with lasers. Yes? How did you decide to become a scientist? Oh, excellent question. Um, I suppose I've always been into science. You know, my mother and father are scientists, so I was kind of led in that direction. Eh, pushed might be a better way to describe it. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, when I was your age, I wanted to be a rap star. <laughs> like Snoop Dogg, but with a healthy respect for the police. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you laugh. <laughs> Just like my mother did. After I confided, I was derided and chided. My mom's and I collided. She said my dreams were misguided. <laughs> That's just a little freestyle. 